Supporters of laissez-faire capitalism need to be aware of the linguistic sleight-of-hand attempts of collectivists, monopolists, and dedicated world socialists to confuse facts and ideological terms in the minds of the average individual. Let me use the following excerpt to illustrate my point. Quote, In what is widely accepted to be an increasingly interdependent global capitalist economy, the resurgence of nationalism poses an apparent contradiction. With its emphasis on social and cultural exclusion, and its ambition of delimiting the territorial and sovereign limits of political authority, nationalism and, indeed, the nation-state would seem dysfunctional to the needs of international capital, end quote. E.J. Hobbsbaum, 1975. First of all, within the context of global economy, or global government, the term capitalist is a misnomer at best, and brazen deceit at worst. You see, if the international documents and treaties of the United Nations serve as any indication, the economic and private property restrictions they place upon the average individual are authoritarian and socialistic in the extreme. They would certainly prohibit the individual from freely engaging in entrepreneurial capitalist free enterprise while simultaneously protecting from unfair competition, the small but entrenched coterie of pro-capitalist, which there is no such thing, global financial monopolists. I will not even attempt to address here the draconian restrictions these documents place upon freedom of thought, conscious, speech, and association. For contrary to the clever insinuations of Keynesian economists, monopolism is not capitalism any more than nationalism is automatically the ideology of those demanding the conservation of distinct politically sovereign nation states. Monopolism is the protective merger of certain corporations with the state, thereby restricting or eliminating competition and eliminating the free choice of individual consumers to determine who shall provide them with goods and services. Monopolism, you see, is a manifestation of status or globalist socialism. Monopolism is the very antithesis of free enterprise capitalism. And contrary to the equally deceptive insinuations regarding nationalism, those who would seek to preserve individual freedom and laissez-faire capitalism under a politically sovereign constitution and bill of rights designed to do just that are the true pro-freedom individualists. These heroes are frequently lambasted by the same press academicians and economists who would deliberately confuse monopolism with capitalism. You see, constitutionalists, objectivists, libertarians, and other laissez-faire capitalists are incorrectly labeled nationalists, and nationalists anxious to redeem their vile ideologies with more virtuous associations do nothing to dispel the rumor. In fact, in the view of the true nationalist, the cure for international socialism is nothing more than fascistic, authoritarian, national socialism, usually racist, ethnocentric, tribalistic, and hierarchical, and bearing no resemblance whatsoever to libertarian concepts of limited government, individualism, and pure capitalism. It is slander in the extreme to associate those who plead for politically sovereign nation-states in the name of pro-individualist, pro-capitalist freedom with those who espouse one of the most evil 
pro-collectivist ideologies produced of political theorists, which is nationalism. Nationalism, ladies and gentlemen, accurately defined, does not encompass a patriotic devotion to pro-individualist, minimalist government or a free economy. Quite the contrary. Nationalism, or its complete appellation, national socialism, is the ideology of ethnic collectivism and economic protectionism overlaid with authoritarian state control of industry, property, and persons. It is closely allied to fascism, for which it usually serves as a preliminary political base, and populism, populism, yes, populism, an equally socialist politic which often precedes it. That's why you had better be damn careful if you're messing around with populism and the populist party. Nationalism, like its political fellow, populism, is completely antithetical to capitalism. 